step one in our clinical education as dentists um, should be uh, in conjunction with Dr. Liao's philosophy on underdeveloped jaws and how a healthy mouth uh, you know, really leads to uh, a healthy whole person. You know, it's, it's, the, it's the beginning and it's the start. Being able to at least identify when there's an underdeveloped jaw or an airway issue um, really should, uh, it should be the basis of all dental treatments. You know, it really should be number one, we should identify that and then move on to restoring teeth and dentition because, you know, as I've seen in my clinical career, and I'm sure many people other have, have seen as well, is that sometimes you do, you know, you fix everything and then it just doesn't work. You know, it just it keeps degrading downhill and they're the cases that, you know, drive you nuts and don't let you sleep at night. And, you know, once we start getting into airway and understanding, you know, why those issues are occurring and why those patients have problems, um, then it just opens up your eyes to really, truly what we really should be doing. You know, we should, it's not something that there should be just a subset of dentistry or one guy should be doing this. Every single dentist should be aware of this and should be incorporating it into their practice.